guys and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and if you are a returning viewer slash subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Um, as you can see, today's look is more on the dramatic side. I, um, I don't know. I was just in the mood. I rarely use color when doing makeup just because I'm more comfortable with neutrals, but, um, I saw a look recently and it just inspired me so I decided to recreate the look but put my own twist on it because I ended up going a completely different direction than the picture that I saw. But anyway, if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look right here, then just please keep watching. So I'm going to prime and set my eye with the concealer and flesh tone eyeshadow and then I'm going to pull out my scotch tape, warm it up on the back of my hand so it's not so harsh and the reason that I'm using the tape is to make sure that this is a sharp and clean look today. So the first shadow that I'm using is Frappe by Makeup Geek Cosmetics and then I'm going in with Caramelized by Morphe and then I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek again and I'm using an E40 Sigma brush. To ensure that my blue eyeshadow pops, I'm going to use a dark base first. So I'm using my Maybelline Gel Liner in black and then I'm going to blend it out with a more dense blending brush using the same shadows that I originally went in with, Frappe, Caramelized, and also Cocoa Bear. And when you're using tape, you want to take the shadows all the way over to the tape and you can kind of go over it. It's going to stay neat the whole time so it doesn't matter. You can be a little bit more messy when you are using tape. So the eyeshadow that I'm using right now is Nautica by Makeup Geek Cosmetics. And this shadow has a metallic look to it naturally. I didn't have to wet it or anything. It is just beautiful. And then, like always, I'm going to blend to make sure it stays seamless. Um, the shadow that I'm going to go into next is Corrupt, also by Makeup Geek. And it is a matte black shadow. I'm going to take it and only use it in the outer corner of my eye because I want to deepen it up and give it a more dramatic look. I'm just going to keep it on the outer portion of my eye and then I'm going to blend the blue and the black together. Um, the lashes that I'm using are the Coco Lashes in the style Coco and once I've lined my eye I'm just going to bluff the wing out so it's not so sharp and not so neat but I'm going to keep the actual wing itself intact. Since I'm already being dramatic, I'm just going to add some glitter to my tear duct and this is called Jawbreaker by Eye Candy Cosmetics and then I'm going to use some mascara to blend my eyelashes with the falsies. Moving on to the face, I'm using my Nivea Men Post Balm Insensitive as a primer and then I am going to also use the Benefit Cosmetics Professional Matte Rescue to make sure this face stays matte. Well, not the entire face. I just want to keep my T-zone matte. By the way, I'm in love with this drink. I'm obsessed with this drink. I drink it often. It is the iced chai tea latte skinny, of course. And then I take the ice out. The two foundations that I'm using today are the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Maybelline Better Skin. One is just about right for me and one is a little lighter. Now I want my skin to be super moisturized, so I'm using the Mario Badescu and the MAC Fix Plus to make this look a little bit more dewy. I want to be a little dewy. That's why I only wanted to make sure my T-zone was matted out. Everything else can have a nice healthy glow to it. And I'm going to buff that into my skin using my Real Techniques sponge. <laughs> This is my normal concealer to highlight, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm going to highlight all the normal areas.
highlighted areas, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to also use my Real Technique Sponge to pick the powder up because I just feel like it applies it more smoothly. I'm grabbing my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm going to sculpt out my face first using an e.l.f. brush and then I'm going to go and buff it out with a big fluffy brush that has no product on it. soft and wouldn't take too much attention away from the eyes so I am using NYX Coral Dream blush and I'm just gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks lightly I don't even realize that I'm making these faces when I do my eyes <laughs> but I'm lining my waterline with L'Oreal color rich and black and then I'm using corrupt to line directly underneath my lash line and then going over that with Nautica don't forget to blend <laughs> Coco Loco is making another appearance because it is my favorite lip liner. The liquid lipsticks that I'm going to use today are from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. First I'm going to use Pure Hollywood which is a pale nude color and then I'm going to use Milkshake which is a pale pink nude color. <laughs> And my final touch is my Mario Badesco Facial Spray. You guys, this is the completed look. I had so much fun filming this video. I hope that you guys liked watching it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time.